What's going on everybody? So, I'm gonna be doing some videos. I'm not guaranteeing that it's gonna be uh, every week, but um, I figured uh, I'd do a Wednesday word of encouragement. Maybe, you know, you'll find something here that will be helpful to you. Uh, we'll see. I was having a conversation with some friends the other day, and we were talking about um, what, was, uh, what was true happiness. Basically what my friend had, uh, the conclusion that my friend had gotten to was that uh, you have to love yourself. I disagree with that. I think that we hear that a lot. We are uh, groomed to, to think that way, that you, you hear this, um, you need to love yourself before you can love somebody else uh, idea. I, I, think, uh, I think that's wrong. I, I don't think that's the right way to look at it. By going into what I believe, um, God uh, commands us to love Him over everything else and then love our neighbors. I think, I think that one's right on the money. Um, I believe that in, in trusting God and doing God's will, I think that, that you'll find true purpose and true happiness there. But uh, I think that you can find a lot of good in just those two commandments. The reason why... Uh, I don't think we should uh, take that, you know, that, that love yourself uh, to heart is because um, if you, when you say you love yourself, you're probably going to be like, oh, well, I love myself. I'm going to, you know, you know, give myself whatever I want or do what I want to do. That's pretty much the idea. I don't think that's the best thing for anybody because we don't always know what, um, what's good for us. Uh, we think we know. We think that, you know, if I get these million dollars right now, uh, or whatever you want to say, if I get this car right now, if I get this house right now, that it's gonna it's gonna make me happy. But I know for a fact that that's not necessarily the case. Uh, taking a, a one of Jordan Peterson's uh, uh, Twelve Rules for, Rules for Life, um, treat yourself how you would treat somebody that you're helping. I, I believe that is the, the rule. Um, if you think about that, um, if you have a friend that's a drug addict and you're trying to help him uh, not do drugs anymore, um, you love your friend and he's gonna be asking you, hey, let me do this, let me, let me take these drugs or let me do um, something uh, that he doesn't consider har harmful, but you know it, it's ha harmful for, for him. Uh, that person thinks that that's the best thing for him, but you, being the other person, you know that's not the best for, best thing for, for that person. Now take the same thing, take the same model uh, for yourself. Uh, if if you're if you're trying to help yourself, and you know that you're doing something that you know is not good for you, then uh, you need to reconsider your actions and what you're gonna do. A good start. Um, for us to uh, start finding our way towards happiness. Take responsibility and do what you have to do. Um, when I say don't, don't love yourself, I don't mean be reckless and uh, um, you know, don't eat for 10 days, no. You wake up in the morning, you eat breakfast, you make yourself breakfast, you eat breakfast, you go to work, you, you know, take care of your responsibilities. I love skateboarding, uh, but I have certain responsibilities. I have to take care of my family, I have to take care of my job, and I have a lot of things that I have to do. So what do I do in order to fit in skateboarding into my schedule? I wake up super early, super early at the crack of dawn in the morning so that I can go and skateboard. You gotta make sure that you're still, that you're still meeting your responsibilities, that you're still doing those responsibilities. And lastly, is play the cards you're dealt. Nobody is born into a perfect situation. You gotta do what you have to do in order to move forward. Don't stay stuck on uh, the bad things or the negative things that are around you. Don't give up on this game we call life just because uh, you, you were dealt a bad hand. You're go there's gonna be times where you lose and there's gonna be uh, times where you win. Um, that's why there's that saying, you win some, you lose some. Because it, it's, it's life, it's just part of life. All right, so quick recap. 
Don't treat it as loving yourself. Instead, treat yourself how you would treat somebody that you're helping. Like Jordan, said, Jordan Peterson says in his book. Two, and this should have been number one, uh, follow those two commandments. I don't care if you believe in God or not. Um, those two commandments to me are, you know, pretty much what defines the rest of the commandments. But uh, love, your, love God over everything else. If you don't believe in God, well, at least love your neighbors. Don't focus so much on loving yourself because you don't always know what's best for you. Like I love my, my two-year-old, but I wouldn't give him a knife if he wants to play with it because I know that he could harm himself. Do what you have to do. Get up in the morning and take care of your responsibilities. Play the cards that you're dealt. Not everybody's born into the perfect situation. Don't dwell on the bad things that are around you. Instead, focus on the good and try to move forward with, forward with what you have and better things will come. Again, this is just a, a personal thing. I don't think, I'm not guaranteeing that you're gonna be happy tomorrow by following these rules, but um, I think it's a start. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Word of Encouragement Wednesday. Um, talk to you guys later. And I hope that all you average Joes out there had something to gain from this.